Aisha. Today I'm going to show you about a food web game that I made for my science project. I decided to make this for my for my class and to play with it. Now, a food web is a several food chains linked together. Now, let me read the instructions. Guess what are behind the posters as you follow the arrows? Number two. Start from the blog bottom. Complete the food web. Now. As you see on this poster, there's sun and there's the carrier. The other pictures are all covered behind the postings. Now, sun give energy to living things called producers. Now, the grass gets energy from the sun. also gets energy from the sun because it's a kind of plant. You bye bye too. Now, bacteria eats a plant. Now, a grasshopper eats grass. Well, I guess you're a part of grass. Now, this bunny eats bean plant and grass. You're a part of plant too. What is an official name for a bunny? Official name for a bunny is like, wait, rabbit. Like bunny is like a baby of a rabbit. Now, frogs eat grasshoppers. Oh. Now, trouts also eat grasshoppers. And fox eats trout and bunnies or rabbits. Bye bye. Now, snakes eat frogs. Hawks eat snakes. Sorry, but bye bye. Now, human, us, eats rabbit and shrimp and frog. So, which level are the carnivores, omnivores, or herbivores? Herbivores are the secondary consumers. Wait, wait, I think I messed up. Well, herbivores are primary consumers. They're called primary consumers because they're the first step in an energy pyramid or food web. Now, these are all the secondary consumers, these ones. Now, secondary consumers are right after primary consumers because they eat primary consumers. Now, hawk and humans are the top, top, top level of the consumers because they eat a lot of secondary consumers and primary consumers. Now, since we finished this food bit game, um, I really had fun and if you want to learn more about food web and like, understand the food web, go to lifelongenglish.com.